Hi, and welcome to the Zaps channel. Today we're going to be going over automation, what it means, and how to use it. So let's get started. Automation allows a user to use GarageBand in order to remember different adjustments of different faders and controls over the course of an entire song. To give you an example of how automation could be used in a song to bring up the music production quality, let me show you a project I've been working on. This first clip is the exact same song without any automation. And the second clip is with the exact same song, but different automation, and then some drums I add in it as well. So as you can see, automation can really give depth to your song and bring up your music production overall. When you're working in a new song, by default, GarageBand will not have automation as a selectable tool. In order to add this, you have to either press the A key or go to Mix, Show Automation. The next step to automating a track is to select which control value you'd like to automate, also known as the parameter. By default, it'll be set to volume. The controls you see below this are the exact same controls that you have for your instrument. Now, in order to initialize your first automation point, go ahead and select your parameter that you'd like, in this case I'm going to do volume, and click anywhere inside of the track. By default, it'll set one point at bar one at whatever value you already had selected. To add another automation point, Go ahead and click anywhere on the track, and as you see, it creates different points. Now let's say from bar 1 to bar 4, I want there to be a fade in. I'll go ahead and select my first point, drag it all the way down, so now whatever sound I have on the track will fade in with the volume. As you can see here, as I drag my slider, the slider for the volume bar on the left matches the parameters that we set on our automation table. Now what's nice about this is you can really get a lot of customization and have different waves, such as square waves, oscillations, and many others. Now going back to that song I showed you, let me show you what the intro sounds like. So as you can see, it's just a simple arpeggiator that goes for the first 8 bars of my song. But the problem is, I want to add some more depth to it. So I'm going to go to Automation, and I'm going to select Cutoff from the Smart Controls. Now this Cutoff value is going to be the exact same one as the controls down here, except when I automate it, it's going to change over time. So let's say at the very beginning, I want it to be set at the lowest point of 0, and at the end, I want it to be set all the way to the highest value of 127. Now as you watch here, when I play this song, the Cutoff knob down here will turn all the way up just as I asked it to. So as you can see, that's a really good way to add some depth to your intros and other parts of your song. Now if you click on the automation parameter, the very bottom ones, which will be in a bold text, are going to display which ones you have any automation values in. As here you can see I have the mix has changed, the decay has changed, and so is the cutoff. Now at any point, if you feel that you're a little overwhelmed with the automation that you have and you'd like to just start over, you can go ahead and click mix and then delete all automation on selected track. And this will remove everything from that track. Now another nice part about automation is it works with any of your plugins. Now let's say I wanted to add an auto filter plugin to the sequence 4 element. I'll add it right there. And let's say I want to drag this cutoff value instead of the one down here. Well for automation, it's pretty simple. Instead of being in the smart controls, I'm going to go down to the bottom where I see plugins. I'm going to choose my auto filter plugin I added and then cutoff. Even though this is the same name, it's actually a different value. So if I bring this one up and I want to start high and go low, now it'll sound like this. Notice how this cutoff value is completely separate from the one in the smart controls. So all in all, automation is a really powerful tool and it'll help bring up the quality in your music production. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me or put it in the comments below so anybody else can see them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.